Hi, this is Samir from Global Tech. In this video, I will showcase you about Udo WooCommerce Connector, which is fully automated bi-directional connector for import and export. And it can be customized as per your need. And this module allow you to operate multi-store in one single window rather than import the order from WooCommerce to Udo, it also import the status of the order and also import the stock, the customer and so on. The step one will be the module installation. Okay, first search for the WooCommerce module. Okay, and install it. And the next step will be the access right to a user. For that, we have to go back in the settings over here yes and then users and company and users afterwards we will give an access right to an user so this module is accessible only if it is allowed to a user so we will enable this and save this and afterwards we will go back now you can notice it is not showing for that you have to refresh this page once it is refreshed, we can see the module and the step three is create an instant to a Udo. For that, in module configuration and WooCommerce instance. Over here, we have to create one. We will give a name and add the details like the keys of it and the location and afterward we will be checking the connection now you can check it is connected and we will create a shop once it is created we will go to the configuration and shop we can notice the shop has been created over here let's click on it here we can see all the details over here the shop name and all over here we have to add the details for the configuration and when we scroll down in the in the woocommerce information tab we can notice out the on which date the last update has been done while automation and afterwards at the initial state we have to manually import the details and start with the attribute over here i have clicked on it and we will check in woocommerce attribute attribute and click on it see this is the imported one and let's move on with the backend of my woocommerce I am clicking on the attribute so these are the attribute so we have reconfirmed and let's begin with the next part which will be the let's say product cat import categories and I have clicked we will check in the WooCommerce categories these are the imported categories which we have imported from the WooCommerce let's check so in the categories so these are the woocommerce categories so it is working perfectly so now we will be moving with the next one which is <coughs> i'm sorry and the products it might take some more time because there are might be many more products so we will check so products are imported and at the back end we will check so these are the product yes so now let's move on with the shop again and simultaneously we will import all these details one by one the inventories and the categories the stock images etc so move on with the export which will be the manually export 
let's say in the udu we will create one as a product as test woo okay and in the woocommerce tab over here i will be making some configuration like adding the product tag and scroll down so this is the basic information for that and i will be adding the categories with right now and save this once it is saved i will go back to the dashboard and in the export button i will simply enable the product and submit it now you can check from udu to woocommerce the product has been exported now we will update it the product which will be the manual update let's say the same product test woo uh, let me do some changes let's say in the name itself as 0001 i will save this again i will go back on the dashboard on the update button i will simply update the product data over here and i have clicked the button it might take some more time because it will update the whole product itself and i'm going back on the product see the name has been changed now for the automation in the module we have given a provision for that we have to activate the developer mode in the settings scroll down and activate the developer mode once it is done again go to the settings over here in the technicals in the automation part we will be uh, selecting the schedule x action and over here we can configure whatever the time interval we required and the, on that time interval the scheduler will be running and for the automation part it will be work fine so i am done with my demo for more functional video kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for the notification thank you